I didn't even realize that I was having so much cheese. My name is Reina. I'm a registered nurse and stay-at-home mom of two and this channel is all about what I eat on high-fat meat-heavy keto aka ketovore. I've gotten a lot of new subscribers lately and first of all thank you guys so much. Um, I'm very grateful that you're here and I hope that I can provide valuable content for you, something that you'll continue to enjoy. I think a lot of you are coming from either my triple B&E playlist or my triple B&E results challenge or results video. Um, so I guess a quick and dirty update is when, when I finished my challenge, I started slowly adding back in some carbs and I kind of landed on ketovore, which is um, less than 10 total carbs per day. And that's kind of my average. So there are days when I have a little bit more and most days when I'm not vlogging, most of the time it's because I'm having burgers and steak. And eggs <laughs> so when I have a little something different that I'm gonna make is, is when I tend to vlog so a lot of times I'm less than 10 total carbs per day close to zero carbs speaking of a little something different if you hear Tiago screaming it's because he's the definition of overtired right now and he's upstairs playing with Freddy he just refuses to nap I don't I don't know why but I have I lost my train of thought Jeez. Okay, I have a really good beef broccoli cheddar soup for you guys. I've made it a couple times before. Each time, I swear it just gets better and better. <laughs> so I'm hoping that today will be the same. The only thing is that today I'm adding an extra pound of beef. I, I'm used to making it with two pounds of beef. This time I'm adding a third pound of beef. So I'm going to have to maybe tweak the ratios a little bit. I don't know. Either way, I'm going to, as I'm cooking, I'll show you guys how I'm, I'm cooking it, but I'm gonna try and have something on the screen where you can just very easily screenshot it and cook along or make it yourself at home. I'm gonna go outside and check because I'm hoping that I have a few jalapeno peppers ready. We have a ton coming in, but they're all very small. And I need them to be large because I want to make jalapeno poppers. I made them, uh, I guess, over a week ago now. I made a short with the recipe and they, they turned out delicious. I could have those every day. So I'm going to go check to see if we have some jalapeno peppers ready. I'm not too optimistic, but let's just, let's just go see what we have in the garden. Mm, nope. Nope, too small. Oh man. It's almost like the more you have, the longer they take to grow. Ugh, Cause this is as much as we've had ever growing at the same time. Ooh, we have a couple of strawberries back there. I need to go pick them. Well, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. We have more strawberries. Oh, we do. A little tiny baby one. We need to get them before the slugs get to them because we've had an issue with slugs getting to them and then once they're broke open, the uh, the ants will eat them. So we need to pick them like right when they're ripe. We have another one coming. Oh, let's see. That. Yeah, see this one, they already got to it. Uh, okay, so I got a lot of bell peppers coming too, but it's kind of the same thing where there's just so many that they're growing slowly. These are these are actually pretty good size. I might grab them tomorrow or something, but um, they've taken forever to grow. Another bell pepper plant. Get in there. I found a 
another one. Cool. Two strawberries. No jalapenos, but got a couple of strawberries. Yes. While I'm out here, I'm gonna go around and show you the the mums. They're in my car, so I'm gonna have to grab them from the back. All right, these are the ones that I got. Aren't they beautiful? They're so big too. I had found some at Costco that were, I don't know, they, they don't even seem like they were this big and they were $15. These were at Lowe's for $16.98. So a couple extra bucks. I even felt like I needed to go to Costco instead of Lowe's. I almost turned around, honestly. Um, but no, I'm glad that I didn't because this seems like a much better deal. I think these are a lot bigger than the ones at Costco and um, just a couple extra bucks. All right, it's 3.48 going on 4 o'clock. The only thing I've eaten today is the coffee. And I've snacked on some chicharrones that I had in the car for the kids. I was snacking on them too. I, I say this in every vlog, but I'm jittery because of how hungry I am. So let, let's get cooking. So the first things I like to do when making this soup is go ahead and cook up my ground beef and chop up my broccoli because after those two things are done, it's basically just adding everything to the pot um, at its given time, but that's basically all you do. So I have my ground beef cooked up. That's actually four pounds of ground beef. I don't think I'm going to add all of that. I'm gonna do maybe just two or three pounds and have my broccoli right there waiting for me. Um, so we're just gonna add things to the pot now. Hello everybody, it's the next day and I didn't get to uh, finish the vlog off yesterday like usual, but um, I wanted to continue it today because I have something pretty important to update you guys on um, regarding my diet. So about a week ago, um, and you can tell by the title of today's video what it is, but I want to tell you guys how it started and why I am making the decision to give up dairy 
uh, for now. I'm going to eliminate it, um, ex except a small splash of heavy cream in my coffee um, for at least 30 days and then slowly reintroduce it back in. Um, and I'm committed to that because I know that a small splash of heavy cream in my coffee doesn't cause issues because that's exactly what I did um, during Triple B and E. I allowed myself a splash of heavy cream in my coffee and I had no issues, none of the symptoms that, uh, that I'm having now. So a few days ago, I guess almost a week ago, maybe a little over a week ago, eight or nine days, I started noticing small plaques of dandruff. And um, that's something that I hadn't seen in two years since I even went low carb. That was one of the first things that went away. But prior to that, um, I would on and off get really extreme dandruff. Um, I had like very thick plaques that would build up. It didn't matter if I washed my hair a lot or didn't wash my hair um, at all. Sometimes I wouldn't, I would go 10 days without like even a drop of water on my hair. I didn't know what it was. I tried different shampoos, um, head and shoulders seemed to help a little bit. So that's kind of what I stuck with but it, it didn't make it go away all the time. Anyways, it, it would get to the point where I would pick at it and it would bleed. I'm, I'm so scared of getting back there that I'm, this is why I'm making the definite decision that I'm, I'm leaving dairy uh, for 30 days, like completely. I love cheese, I love dairy, but not enough to go back to the place where I was. I would sometimes, you guys, have like blood dripping down my head and I could feel it. And sometimes I wouldn't even notice it and someone would call it out because I had just been picking at it and the scab just kept reforming and reforming and it would never go away. And sometimes it would just strip and I wouldn't notice it and someone would catch it for me. And they'd be like, are you okay? Why is your head bleeding? Yeah, that, that happened a couple of times. And it just, it's not a place I wanna go back to. So I made a video talking about the things that keto cured for me that was one of those things. And it's one of those things that maybe doesn't seem very, um, it seems very on the surface for a lot of people. And I completely understand. It's not like curing diabetes. It's not like curing hypertension. It's like miraculous things. It's not one of those things. It's, it, it is very much a, on the surface compared to other things, but it was so bothersome for me. And especially knowing how extreme it, it could get. It wasn't always like that. It had moments where it went away. Uh, but I never had control over it. It always had control over me. Because my hair is black, you can you can imagine that any small patch of white, you, you would be able to notice it. So it was very noticeable. Um, there were times when I would, I couldn't have it down because I was afraid that something would peep through. So I would just comb it back so that nothing could move. <laughs> I know it sounds really ridiculous, but anyway, that's one of the symptoms that I started seeing coming back and small little areas, but I already have like two spots where I feel like it's it's coming back. And also acne. Let me show you. You can see it on this side too. Yep. I haven't had a bump like that or like that. You can see that I have scars left from when I used to pick, but I haven't had bumps like that in almost two years since, since it went away, since I went low carb. So I'm, I'm gonna have to let go of dairy and just help my body heal. Because you know, I got to thinking yesterday, um, I, I wasn't able to, to vlog, to finish the vlog yesterday and tell you guys about this, but I got to thinking, how much dairy exactly have I had? I'm gonna throw up on the screen just some of the things that, that come to the top of my head that have been creamy, cheesy, full of dairy, milk, cream cheese, all the things. And it just crept up on me. I didn't even realize that I was having so much cheese. And if you follow me on Instagram, you may recognize some of these things because I, I share on Instagram almost daily what I eat. And a lot of these things have been cheesy. And in my last vlog, I made that cream cheese, um, that cheesecake full of cream cheese. I made cheesy uh, chicken the other day and pollo con queso. And in this soup, I mean, so many things, so many things. So I think I just, my body was telling me 
is telling me that I'm way overdoing it and I need to reel it back in. So that's what I'm doing. Um, you guys saw the coffee that I made myself. Um, it's coffee, it's not a double espresso. So normally for a nice coffee, I make me a double espresso and I add ice, some stevia drops and a bunch of, um, not a bunch, but quite a bit of lactose free milk and some heavy cream. Um, because double espresso, it's really, really strong. So you need a lot of milk to offset it. So I'm letting go of my double espressos because they require a lot of milk and I'm not having a lot of milk. So if I want to have iced coffee from now on for the next 30 days, at least, um, I'm going to have to have just regular coffee and to add a, a small splash of heavy cream. I mean, cause you can see the color. I don't know if you can tell, but usually I like it creamier than this but I held my, myself back in and we officially finished the soup today. Um, my sister came today and she had some and I had some, so we finished the soup. My husband also has been taking some to work. So um, we finished the soup, it was delicious, okay? Don't let me um, deter you from making this soup. It's not that one thing that I made. I've been having tons of other um, cheesy and dairy filled foods. So, um, yeah, don't let me deter you from making that, that soup. It was delicious. Everyone loved it. My sister wanted the recipe. I told her you, she's going to have to wait till this vlog comes out. All right. I think that's the only thing that I wanted to update you guys on. I hope you liked today's vlog. If you did, please hit the thumb up or the thumb down. It doesn't matter. It works the same way and subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye.